and welcome to my August wrap up. Now August was um, our holiday time so um, with my husband off work as well so we were out doing um, lots of family time we decided to do a Roman holiday this year and actually sort of travel from home each day as opposed to actually like leaving and going somewhere um, else partly because of the dog <laughs> that's probably like the biggest reason um, but also like just money wise organizational wise and everything it it just seemed like a good idea as well because we live on the outskirts of Rome like near where the film studios are so we are still um, definitely like towards the we're like on the outskirts so um, the kids don't actually get to go to the center that often and it just got me thinking and I was just like okay you can't live in Rome and not know the center of Rome like you need to have been to the Colosseum and the Trevi Fountain and everything else so I have done some vlogs during our holiday um, you can find the links for those down below um, so I will link those up for you um, with some of the things that we got up to um, during the holidays we also did a few like day trips to places which are sort of within an hour's distance of the car so we went to the beach, uh, Topoyanica, we went to Nemi, um, which is like a, a small little village up on the hills um, near like uh, one of your volcanoes and stuff and it's absolutely gorgeous. And I have to say they have the best gelato that I think I've ever eaten in my life at Nemi. So if you ever get the chance to go there totally worth it even it's worth going just to go and eat the gelato basically um, it was amazing so we went there and we had a lot of like day trips as well to the center of Rome obviously showing the kids um, around during the day um, but also we did a few night tours as well so like taking them to see the castle and the Vatican and things at night um, and also because during the summer along the riverbank um, there's like a summer village where there's all um, like pop-up restaurants and there's lots of um, stores selling books and clothes and all sorts of different things um, so that was nice as well and we did some other stuff as well but anyway check out the vlogs and you can see um, exactly the sort of thing that we got up to anyway um, but in all of this getting up to stuff um i haven't had as much time to do reading <laughs> also because my husband being it usually i do most of my reading like in the evening because he's at work um and so once like the kids are sort of sorted out like we've had dinner and all that kind of stuff i can usually find some time to just like chill with a book um it's either a book or netflix a lot of the time so depending on how tired I am if I'm tired then Netflix wins <laughs> a lot of the time but um, uh, that's normally when I get most of my reading done so having the kids around and my husband around and going out and about and everything so I didn't get as much reading done as I wanted to so I read The Crime Writer I will link up the review for that one for you um, as well which was amazing and that goes down on my NetGalley TBR reading challenge um, this is the first month that I've not completed a book for the clock reading challenge um, luckily I did um, get ahead um, already in a previous month so I am still actually on track I started reading the nine o'clock bus from Brompton um, but I'm very much at the beginning of that so this is the cover for that one anyway if you want to check it out I will add links down to Amazon and things so you can find out more information about it um, but it's too early on really to say anything about that one 
Um, another one which I started and I haven't finished is this one, Granny Dan by Daniel Steele. This one that I've had on my shelf for a while now. And this was my beach read. <laughs> okay, as you can see, I didn't actually get that far into it. Um, it is quite a short book, so I will be carrying on reading this anyway. Um, it, mm, start up this one, not the best Daniel still that I've read, but again, I possibly need to get more into the book to do it because I've only had like very brief reading sessions on the beach. Um, and then like the kids would call me to go and play in the water with them and stuff like that. So um, yeah, probably need to just dedicate an evening to this one. I think it's, it's not like that slower read really. It's just me being slow reading it. Um, but yeah, so um, need to get more into that, but it's not really like gripping me from the, the get go. This one, however, which I've started this month, um, If I Should Die by Matthew Frank. This one, I'm starting to get a bit more into this one now. Um, very beginning is just sort of like a lot of information more than anything else. I'm now getting to the point where it's like starting to get into the story and I know like who everyone is. It's starting to come together now. So I'm hoping that the pace is going to pick up on that one as well. Um, it's quite good so far. It's quite good. I'm definitely intrigued to see what happens. Um, and it's all been like set up and everything. So um, there's that one as well. So yeah, I have three books on the go, none of which I finished. I've skip the book for this month for the clock reading challenge because I haven't finished that one yet and I only managed to I did get one off of my net galley TBR though so that's good at least I'm, I'm making progress I'm making progress so I'm hoping that in September September is going to be another busy month you see because school starts back and um, like my youngest is studying middle school and things and so going to be a little bit more yeah I I don't know I'm hoping I also have my birthday in September <laughs> getting older um, and I have some friends coming from abroad to come for a visit and stuff so we'll probably be hanging out with them a little bit as well so again reduce reading time but I'm hoping to get back on track in September though anyway because I will like I said have more of my usual reading time in the evening um, like before I go to bed and stuff so um, yeah hopefully hopefully I will finish all these books that I have in progress and maybe even get some other ones done as well that's the plan that's the plan so August yeah was a bit kind of hit and miss as far as um, hitting my goals, my targets for the various reading challenges, but not a complete washout, I have to say. And the crime writer was amazing. It was, you know, five star read for me. I really enjoyed that one. So, um, yeah, that is my wrap up for August. And I, like I said, I have lots of plans for September because I want to get um, some more work done on my blog and things as well get back into doing my blog audit um, that I usually do I've taken a break over the summer but I want to get back into that and do more updating and things I also want to carry on organizing better um, my YouTube channel and also for like the other social media I have I have a, like a huge list of things that I want to do I have like a folder full of ideas for blog posts and various different things for social media and all the projects that I want to work on and everything it's just finding the time to do it all <laughs> so um, anyway hopefully I will find some time to do all that because I want to be get back um, and hitting all of those little milestones and things that I wanted to do one of which 
is to get monetized on YouTube. So if you're watching this and you haven't already, please do click the subscribe button so you don't miss out on new uploads. Get that little notification clicked as well so that um, it lets you know as soon as the new videos are published and things. And uh, please give this video a like as well because it all really helps with the algorithm. And you know, if you're ever bored, just you know, put the put my videos on in the background and um, you know, just follow along. I really appreciate your support in this. And if you know anyone else that likes books and blogging and stuff, um, then please send them my way as well and encourage them to subscribe. Um, because it would be really great to sort of take this to the next level. Um, so thank you in advance for your support and uh, thank you again for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!